Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Hello. How is everyone doing today? Ooh, I'm here at work. And I was cleaning out this washing machine. I had washed my patient's clothes. And when I took the laundry out, all this, um, let me show you. It was a wet diaper that fell apart with all that gel stuff in there and it got all in the washing machine. So, I don't know if it was, if I forgot and didn't, um, I'm not going to blame my patients. I should just strip out her laundry really good, but all I did was strip her bed and then I grabbed her pajamas from yesterday and I put it in the wash so I believe that that diaper was probably in her pocket in her roll pocket and I should have checked but I didn't so now it's a big huge mess here and I've been at it for a while but I was in here it's hard to get it out too it's not easy at all I was in here wiping out this washer and the Lord reminded me of, uh, about two weeks ago I was just led was to watch the tsunami I don't know if you guys remember the tsunami I forgot what year it was but I know it happened on the day after Christmas and oh my gosh it was so sad it was it was so 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 sad so devastating so many people died and as i was watching it a lot of family members were just there on the beach <laughs> enjoying themselves it was a beautiful day and then out of nowhere um the ocean water drew back in some places and people were amazed so they went towards the water and then all of a sudden these big huge tidal waves began to um, come up towards the shore and people started running and oh my God, it was so much devastation, so much loss of life, so much tragedy. And it happened in so many different places. Um, one of the places where it happened, it was 1,000 miles away from where the original earthquake was and it just traveled on and on and on. And I was just thinking, wow, that, that's really something. And then, so um, I didn't think about it for a while. But I was, as I was in cleaning out this washing machine, um, last night I was watching the news and they were showing three um, individuals that were found dead in the caves um, over there in the Middle East that were um, captured. Um, in Israel back in October 7th of last year. And even those people also, they were just at a concert. They were just enjoying themselves. And then out of nowhere, um, their enemy came and just a full fledged attack on them out of nowhere. And I was sitting, I'm sitting here cleaning out this washer. And I'm like, gosh, so much is going on in the world. So much has been going on. And the Lord just, it just made me just think that um, I just have to look at my own life, you know? Because like the Bible said, he's going to come back like a thief in the middle of the night, you know? Like the Lord is going to come back like a thief in the middle of the night. You can't never prepare. There's no way to even prepare. So... I guess the best way for preparation is to repent. Repent of our sins. Repent of the things that you have done in your life. You know, ask God for forgiveness and truly be sorry about it. Get on your knees and ask the Lord to forgive you. And if you have any sins in your life and things that you know you need to change, if you're a believer, you know you need to change some things about your life. Don't wait too long. Change those things about your life. And if you are not a believer, and if you don't know Christ, 
get on your knees and ask him to come into your heart, you know? And I pray that he sends somebody to minister to you and to lead you into Christ. All you have to do is just believe that Christ Jesus came into this earth and died for your sin and was rose back to heaven three days later. Just have to confess that with your mouth, that Jesus Christ came to the earth and died for your sins, not just for your sins, but for mine also. And just turn from your ways, turn from your, turn from your ways, because sin separates us from God. And I just truly believe that we're living in the last days right now. It's just too much going on. Just watch the news. People are just, they just doing so much, and the world is just so sexualized right now. Uh, oh my goodness. I don't think it's just because I'm old fashioned. I was watching the news last night too. I actually not even the news, I was watching YouTube and they were showing that um, entertainer guy, PD, you know? And what he did to his um, ex. I just felt so sad for him, you know? Even though what he did was wrong, I just felt, I, I, felt, I felt sad for him. Cause I know he's gotta feel He's a human being, and I know he's got to feel some type of remorse about the things that he has done, or even just feel remorse that he got caught, and it's just being shown over and 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 over. And you know what it reminded me of? That scripture that says, everything that's in the dark will come to the light. And that also includes me and you. That includes us, too. That's everybody. Everything that we done is doing secret and we think don't nobody know, the Lord will, he going to reveal it. He gonna, he's going to reveal it. So it's best for us to just go to him with repentance, true repentance in our heart and true forgiveness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. It's so hard to get this stuff out this washer. Uh, and this gel is slippery too, you know? This gel is really slippery. Well, anyway, that's all I wanted to just say real quick, you know? That's all I wanted to say. Everybody have a blessed day today, you know? And uh, like I said, uh, like I said about the tsunami and about what's going on in Israel, and Hamas and Palestine and in Texas with the rain, with that tumultuous rain and Florida and in Kenya, so much is going on all over the world. And these are the last days. So just prepare yourself. And the best way to prepare yourself is to just get close to God. Give him some time. Read your Bible. Ask for um for forgiveness and repent of your sins and stop doing those wicked things that you know you do and nobody else don't know about, you know? So, anyway, God bless you, okay? God bless you and you have a, uh, have a happy Saturday and have a good weekend. Bye.